আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমি ডক্টর আটন মাহবুব আলম প্রফেসর এন্ড হেড অফ দ্য ডিপার্টমেন্ট এনটি অফ আদদিন মেডিকেল কলেজ হসপিটাল ডিউ টু দি করোনা ভাইরাস প্রবলেম নাও উই আর গিভিং লেকচার অন অনলাইন টুডে উই আর গোইং গিভিং টু লেকচার অ্যাবাউট দি ব্রেইন অ্যাপসেস হুইচ ইজ অটোজেনিক ইন অরিজিন অটোজেনিক ব্রেইন অ্যাপসেস ইজ ওয়ান অফ দি ইন্টারগ্রেনিয়াল কমপ্লিকেশন অফ দি ক্রনিক সাপোর্টেড মিডিয়া মেকিং দি টোয়েন্টি টু থার্টি পার্সেন্ট অফ দি টোটাল ব্রেইন অ্যাপসেস 20 to 30 percent of the total brain abscess and brain abscess usually occurs in case of adult 50 percent of the autogenic brain abscess and 25 percent of the brain abscess in case of children 50 percent in case of in case of adults brain abscess autogenic origin and 25 percent in children are autogenic in origin and uh, temporal lobes is more common than the cerebral abscess so the temporal abscess abscess is 2% 2 is to 1 temporal lobus and uh, cerebellar abscess is 2 is to 1 2 is to 1 and the autogenic brain abscess usually occurs in single and it is usually occurring in the gray matter near the surface the gray matter near the surface and then it is more common in adult than children and in adult it is abscess usually occurs abscess usually occurs follows the CSOM with the cholesteatoma or in case of children the abscess occurs commonly in the acute saprolotus media. And there are four clinical stages of the brain abscesses that, that uh, number one is the invasion or cerebritis localization or quiescent stage then the enlargement or the manifest, uh, manifested abscess then four is the termination or the abscess rupture. And what will be the organisms? Organisms is streptococcus then staphylococcus, then pseudomonas, then proteus, and the E. coli and the anaerobes. We can mnemonic it by SSPPE. So streptococcus, staphylococcus, proteus, pseudomonas, and the E. coli and the anaerobes. And then we are going to describe the, about the clinical feature of the patient. There are three, there are uh, uh, clinical features which are due to the three factors number one the increased intracranial pressure then focal disturbance of the disturbance of the function and number three is the systemic disturbances and the signs and symptoms of the uh, brain abscess in case in due to the intracranial increased intracranial pressure there are th four symptoms four sign number one the severe headache number two is the vomiting which is projectile and effortless vomiting and number three is the drowsiness and four is the blurring of vision blurring of vision and features this is the symptoms and there are sign four sign number one is the bradycardia is the bradycardia number two the hypertension increased blood pressure number three is the papilledema number four is the level of consciousness will be altered in case of brain Abscess symptom due to the increased intracranial pressure. Symptoms and signs, or that, or that is the clinical feature due to the increased intracranial pressure. Num a sign will be the bradycardia and hypertension, papilledema, and level of consciousness altered. Then will come Cushing triad, and some teachers the uh, Cushing triad, which is uh, which is usually asked in the viva. There are three symptoms and signs. Symptoms and signs together are called the Cushing triad. These three are called the Cushing triad. Number one is the headache. Number two is the vomiting. And number three is the papilledema. You see the papilledema is the one. Then the headache and the vomiting. And Cushing is the... Well, who is Cushing? Cushing is the father of the modern neurosurgery. Then the signs of focal lesion. When the temporal lobe is affected, that the, in case of temporal lobe abscess, there is a sign, sim, sign symptom is the number one is the nominal aphasia. Nominal aphasia. Nominal aphasia, aphasia means the patient, patient failed to tell the, uh, tell the name of the common object, German pen, key, but he can show the function of the object. That is the nominal aphasia. Number one. Number two is the upper quadrantic homonymous hemianopia. That is the Patients who will lose the temporal visual field, that is the temporal visual loss will, be, will occur. And number three is the epileptic fit, epileptic fit which causes the temporary hallucin hallucination of the 
टेस्ट एंड स्मेल एंड एबनॉर्मल मूवमेंट ऑफ द स्मैकिंग मूवमेंट ऑफ द लिप्स एंड टंग्स इपिलेप्टिक फिट्स एंड द अदर सिम्टम इज दिजुअल ऑडिटोरी हेलोसिनेशन दैन विजुअल एनोसिनेशन एंड दैन दैन द डिजेबू फेनोमन वॉट इज द डिजेबू फेनोम डिजेबू फेनोम इज द मोमेंटरी momentary familiarity with a new environment that is the dejavu phenomenon and the contralateral paralysis it is it is upward first is the face facial paralysis then the arm and the leg and there it is the upward spread in it can be occurred in inward spread for is the uh, for is the leg then arm then the face if this abscess will affect the cerebellar lobe then we will get this the, this clinical feature the pass pointing and the intention, intentional tremor can be Can, can we can get it? Then the rebound phenomenon overshoot, desired echokinesia. Then the scanning speech. Then the spontaneous stigmas, and the, there is drunken gait and the pendular knee jerk, pendular knee jerk. Then the, there is uh, some say, systemic disturbances. Symptoms systemic disturbance number one the anorexia, malage, then low grade fever. These three the systemic disturbances. And what will be the investigation of the brain abscess? Usually we we uh, write the CT scan of the brain or the MRI of the brain, CT scan of the brain or MRI of the brain investigation. And in the CT scan of the brain, you can get the the ring sign, what is called the ring sign, that the hypotense area surrounded by an area of rim enhancement. And MRI, it is superior to the CT scan. Then we can get the hyperintense area of the rim, then hypointense area within it. You can see the next uh, slide. The, there is a hypotense area with rim enhancement. Then there is a MRI. There is hyperintense area of the margins with hypointense area within it. So by these two investigation, we can diagnose the brain abscess. Then what will be the treatment of the brain abscess? First of all. The basic principle is the uh, number one, the antibiotic. Number two, the full neurological observation. Number three, a, a neurosurgical advice and management of the ear. This four is the basic principle of the intracranial complication from the chronic suppurated media. So, in case of brain abscess, we can give first of all IV antibiotic. Number one, the ceftriaxone. The gentamicin and the metrosol, the triple antibody we usually we apply, and it is for six weeks. Then orally for the six weeks, and I and we will give the IV twenty percent mannitol and dexamethasone four milligram IV six hourly. Then we give phenobarbitone for two years. The neurosurgical intervention that is in case of brain abscess, the bar hole operation for the drainage of the brain abscess, bar hole the, the aspiration of the aspiration of the brain abscess can be repeated or craniotomy and the excision of the abscess and the last of all the mastoid, mastoid uh, exploration can should be done after cleaning improvement and the mastoid should be the radical mastoidotomy under general anesthesia this is all about the brain abscess assalamu alaikum